In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the diaphragm and non-shield rim of the MDF777 stethoscope and then I'm going to show you how to put them back on. Hey hey, what's up guys? Nurse Jenny here. In this video, I'm going to take you through in detail my experience on how to take off the MDF777 stethoscope's diaphragm and non-chill rim. And then I'm going to compare it to the MDF instructional videos that are available online. If you're into all things nursing like me, consider subscribing. And if you found this video at all helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Let's get into the video. So as you can see in this MDF instructional video that I found online, the lady is pushing down on the chest piece uh, and away from the diaphragm and working her fingers all the way around it so that the plastic slips down and then she is able to pull it off the chest piece quite easily. So when I had a go at removing the diaphragm, I did it with difficulty. I found that the plastic was a lot harder than it looks and I attempted to roll it off like in the video, but it wouldn't budge at all. And I tried to pry it open with my nails, but ended up nearly breaking all of them. And also I found that I may have given it a little small scratches there, which is not very good. And then I also actually tried to pry it open with with um, with a sharp object, but then I stopped that because I didn't want to damage the chest piece. So then I got some help from stronger hands. And even then it was difficult to try and remove. The plastic wouldn't budge at all. So we tried to use a cotton cloth to um, get a better grip. And even still, it was really hard to remove. But then finally, with lots of fours, uh, we got the diaphragm off. Putting the diaphragm back on is a different story. As you can see in this MDF instructional video, the lady is putting the diaphragm on top of the chest piece and then she works her fingers all the way around and the diaphragm snaps in place. When I did it, I put the diaphragm on the edge of the chest piece and then from there I worked my fingers all the way around until it snapped into place. It was quite easy and pain free. Removing the non-chill rim. As you can see in the video again here, the lady is pushing her, her fingers down onto the plastic so that it comes off the chest piece completely and then she pulls it off the chest piece from there. In my attempt to remove the non-chill rim, uh, I did exactly like she did it in her video. The plastic seemed pretty soft and I just pushed it all the way down, all the way around, and then I could pull it off the chest piece. It was quite easy. Putting the non-chill rim back onto the stethoscope, as you can see here, you gotta work your way in reverse. So you push the plastic onto the chest piece all the way down, and then you pull it back up over the edges and work your fingers all the way around until it fits snugly again. So here in my attempt to put the non shield rim back onto this stethoscope, I did pretty much the same thing she did in, in that video. I pushed the plastic down and then all the way around the chest piece and then I pulled it back up to fit it snug all the way around the chest piece. It was quite easy. So to summarize, the non-chill rim was easy to remove and to put back on, no problems there. However, the diaphragm was really hard to get off. The plastic was super hard. I nearly broke all my nails and I actually had to go and get a pair of stronger hands to help me out with that one. Now the reason I do want to be able to take off the diaphragm is if I do want to do a thorough clean underneath and all the way in those crevices or if my diaphragm is damaged in any way and I need to change it. All these stethoscopes that I use in my videos, I actually give away. So if you're interested in entering my giveaway, click the link below and good luck to you. Catch you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video and remember, listen with your heart. <laughs>